Good evening, humans. Transource Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Ultraman Tiga multi-type figure from SH Figure Arts. Um, I, <laughs> unsurprisingly, if you've been watching a lot of my Ultraman reviews, I haven't seen this series yet. Uh, I love the Ultraman designs and just everything about the Ultraman series, but I've been slowly making my way through just because of time. Um, and I was unaware that Ultraman Tiga apparently aired here in the US, so news to me, and I've got a lot of stuff to uh, go back and check out. Um, so yeah, great design and you know a super solid release from SH Figure Arts, so let's get into the details. Let's do this. Perhaps unsurprisingly, when it comes to aesthetics, Ultraman Tiga looks fantastic. SH Figure Arts always brings it, they always look super crisp, and this is no exception. Um, slight, some slight differences here from the other Figure Arts that I have, um, is that there are some rubber parts here. Uh, so the paint is not quite as clean as it is on some of my other SH figure arts, which I don't have a problem with, but it is worth noting if that's a thing that you look for. Um, but still, I mean, overall, unless you're really, really like kind of zooming in, you're not, you're not gonna notice, certainly on a shelf. And just like all lines are like, like I said, super clean. The rubber is not quite as clean, but um, it's eat just barely. I'm just, <laughs> just saying that for the people who are sticklers for such things, I'm definitely not. Uh, one of the things I love is the, the way they did the eyes. Like they don't actually glow, but because of the silver plastic and the way they, they bubbled the eyes with the kind of semi honeycomb sort of look, it always looks like it's lit up and that's absolutely fantastic. I just love it. Um, yeah, beyond that, proportions are fantastic. Uh, colors are dead on. Obviously, like, I saw this go up on To Collectibles. They, they said they just had a few that were going up for pre-order, I think sometime last year. And I mean, it's red, purple, silver, and gold. I just all over that and uh, could not be happier with the way it looks. When it comes to accessories, we get a good amount here, mostly hands, but they all work really well. And uh, starting off right out of, the back, out of the package, you get two fists. And then after that, Going down the list here, as they were in the package, we get these uh, more kind of chopping hands. All of these cast in all silver naturally. Uh, then we get slightly more folded, or not folded, but uh, more relaxed fingers with the thumb folded in. And then we get two splayed hands. Two more chopping hands, N uh, the thumb more out. Uh, so they're more folded in at the beginning. Uh, so semi-folded, fully folded with the relaxed fingers, then we get the, the thumb kind of up. Then we get just full-on relaxed hands. And then finally, we get a left kind of chopping hand with the fingers bent, like kind of bent more up than they are in the previous ones. And that is to go with our effect piece, uh, which is the blast. And as you can see, the forearm itself uh, is removable on the right arm. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now just because I I kind of feel bad <laughs> enough doing it or I'm not confident enough doing it even off camera, so I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, but you do get an instruction manual which includes exactly how to do that. And you can see kind of how thin the peg is, so I'm, a, I'm always cautious with that. I've done it a couple of times and it's gone okay, but I still like only do it if I need to at this point. <laughs> Uh, and then last accessory we get is color timer. So we get a red one off the figure and then on the figure in package, of course, we get the blue color timer. And that's accessories. Tiga is an absolute joy to pose and that probably the most fun I've had posing in SH Figure Arts since uh, Momotaros at the beginning of the year. And I mean, I, I'm still fairly new to import figures, so I mean, I'm just gonna put that out there, but this definitely features a few pieces of um, engineering that I have not dealt with yet, or at least at least one major point. Um, the other, other ones I have, just to a lesser degree. Uh, so starting at the head, we do have our ball joint at the top and the bottom of the neck, uh, the neck being its own piece. So we get absolutely phenomenal down, we get great up and of course, this piece of the fin in the back is going to push in as you articulate up, so no problems there. Some wonderful tilt. Um, you play around with it, you get a little bit more. Uh, so we got that whole circle going on. This upper chest piece is the first rubber piece we encounter. Um, and we have a 
ball joint, a uh, ball joint, <laughs> a butterfly joint in there, which kind of gives us a little bit of 360. So it's not extreme motion, but it's definitely enough that it, it kind of allows you to kind of get some deeper poses with the arms. We have bicep swivel. Uh, then we have double jointed elbows. And this is, this is the point I was talking about with the engineering where it's double jointed, but uh, there is a little bit of swivel here, like right above that actual elbow piece. Uh, so you get some back and forth, which is kind of cool. I hadn't seen that before. So uh, if you have figure arts with that, let me know, because I'm kind of curious as to like what other figures use that little, that little extra articulation, which kind of just gives you more play and it's, which makes it funner to do. Uh, hands, we are on our uh, ball ball hinge here. Uh, so really you can go anywhere with it, especially if you just kind of turn the joint. So you go up and down, you get in and out. We get a ball joint in the diaphragm. So we're going all around there. We also get a ball joint in the uh, waist. Uh, so we're going all around there. We're getting, ah, uh, oh, the color timer. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to pick that up in a minute. <laughs> The color timers on the Ultraman figures absolutely terrify me. I can see where it is right now, so I'm not too worried, but I need to remember. <laughs> uh, then we get some, uh, I get some all right back. Um, again, play with it a little bit and you'll get, you'll get a little bit more. I, the hit piece here is the other rubber piece uh, on the figure. Uh, then we get some drop down hips, nothing extreme, but just enough. Uh, and that's gonna let you go forward and back about that much. And because of that, you're getting more or less almost full splits. Come down to the knees and we're double jointed. So we're folding about there. Uh, this is another one where we kind of get a little bit of front and back. So we don't have a, um, a, a calf cut, but we do get a little bit of play there, which again helps with the positioning. Uh, and then our feet are on our ball hinge uh, with some pretty good range. So point coming up to here and uh, Again, depending on where you position the foot, you do get some rocker there. Uh, and then finally, you get the toe articulation. And that's articulation overall. Jumping into size comparisons, here is Tigo with some other SH figure arts. With some Hasbro. With some imports and one domestic that's so good it might as well be an import. With some monsters. Finally, with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the Ultraman Tiga multi-type figure from SH Figure Arts is that this is an absolutely gorgeous figure that articulates like a dream and is honestly one of, uh, one of the top two favorite SH Figure Arts that I own, the other one being Momotaros. So that's actually gonna be a really hard decision when it comes to making my top 10 is <laughs> which one of these I prefer to put on that list just because I try to vary it as much as possible. But uh, regardless, I definitely think this is worth picking up if you can find it. And like I said, I got through mine through tocollectibles.com. Uh, they are unfortunately out of this at the moment um, and I don't think they're gonna get it back in. Uh, from what I gather, it was kind of a, like they just happened to be able to get some in and uh, I just happened to hit the pre-order at the right time. So, uh, secondary market for the most part. So again, eBay, Mercari, all of those. Um, but also, uh, I think shfigurearts.com. I don't even know if that's an official site. I kind of just like did a quick search to see if I could find it anywhere. Uh, they have it. So uh, if I find out that they are legit, the, the link to that will be in the description below. Uh, if not, I wish you the best luck in hunting this one down because I highly, highly recommend it. A fantastic figure arts figure, a fantastic figure in general. Um, so yeah, um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this uh, informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. Uh, and if you wanna help uh, take, a, take it the next step and help the channel further, there will be ways linked in the description below as well. So ultra thanks to you one more time for watching. And remember to take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.